Hi everyone, in this video we will be going over how to copy data between worksheets and workbooks using C-Sharp in the Excel Interop library. Let's take a look at this workbook. It contains a bunch of random sample data. By the end of this video you will know how to copy some of this data into another worksheet as well as into another workbook. We will also go over how to copy the entire worksheet into another workbook. Let's go to our project. So far, this project contains a reference to the numbers workbook, which is a workbook we just saw. It also has a reference to an empty workbook that we will use later on in the video. We have also created a range called data. This represents the range of data we will be copying to other places. If you have any questions about how to set up an Excel Interrupt project, please refer to the first link in the description. The first thing we will do is learn how to copy the data contained within our range to another worksheet. The first step is to create a reference to the second worksheet of the Numbers Workbook. Let's type worksheet sheet 2 equals numbers workbook dot worksheets sheet 2. To copy the data, let's type data dot copy sheet 2 dot range A1. When it comes to specifying the range within the destination worksheet, you only have to set the starting cell. In this case, I've chosen A1. You could specify an end cell in the destination, but that wouldn't affect anything since it will paste all of the data using the first cell as the origin point. Let's run our code. We can see that we've taken these cells in our range and copied them into sheet 2. Let's go back to our code. That is how you copy a range of data into another worksheet. Next, let's go over how to copy data into another workbook. Copying into another workbook is very similar to what we just did. The only difference is that you will pass in a worksheet from another workbook instead. We already have a reference to the first worksheet of the test workbook. This is the worksheet we will use as our destination. Let's type data.copy test worksheet dot range A1. Let's run our code. That same range of data has now been copied into the test workbook. Let's go back to our code. Lastly, we will cover how to copy an entire worksheet into another workbook. We are going to take the first worksheet full of data from the numbers workbook and copy it into the test workbook. Before we do this, let's change the name of the first worksheet to make it easier to identify. To do this, let's type numbers worksheet dot name equals numbers worksheet. Copying the worksheet into another workbook is similar to what we've done already. Let's type numbers worksheet dot copy test worksheet. So instead of passing in a range of a worksheet, we just pass in a worksheet that belongs to the workbook we want to copy into. I'm not sure why it was set up this way, as it would be more intuitive to pass in a workbook instead. However, this is what works, so let's run our code. We can see that the numbers worksheet has been copied from the numbers workbook to the test workbook. That's all for this video. If you found this video helpful and want to see more tutorials like these, please like and subscribe to the channel. Also, if there are any topics I haven't covered, feel free to suggest them in the comments and I may make a video about them in the future. Thanks for watching.